Well, two people are in jail, and one of them will likely face homicide charges, the other on a probation violation. They're being held after Madison's first homicide of the year. It happened right outside of the jail near the police department last night. Police tell Naomi Coles the victim lived in Madison his entire life. Naomi? Police said today the victim was just leaving the jail when he was shot. When I asked if the victim had just been released as an inmate or why he was there, the chief said he didn't know. One family member was there when the shooting happened, which lines up with what a witness told us last night, saying they heard a woman screaming for someone to, quote, save her baby. The chief said within minutes, detectives were reviewing surveillance cameras from the street, which helped them track down the suspect last night. We believe that this was a premeditated and pre-planned targeted incident. We're still working to determine a motive. It is too early to determine if this is gang related or not. Police, police also have the gun that may have been used last night, which they found near where they arrested the suspect that was close to the Alliance Center. And they found more than a dozen shell casings at the shooting scene downtown. The shooting happened by the city county building, which houses hundreds of local government employees. Police increased security for them today and for the rest of this week as it's left many of them on edge.